Just read any of the comments on any of my COVID vaccine videos and you're going to see it. You're going to see comments from people citing the VAERS system, V-A-E-R-S, the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, saying that the VAERS system has reported so many comments from people and reports of people who have died from getting the COVID vaccine, who have gotten injured, who've gotten hurt, who've had negative side effects, and they're going to use that information to say that the COVID vaccine is dangerous, that it is harmful, that it is deadly, that it causes deaths, and thus you and other people should not get the vaccine. That is what you're going to read on many of the comments underneath my COVID vaccine videos. So I thought I would come and talk to you about what exactly the VAERS system is and what the strengths of the system are, the weaknesses of the system, and how so many of the people who comment on my videos in other places are actually misappropriating and misusing this information to spread a false narrative. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, let's begin. So the VAERS system, uh, Vaccine Adverse Events uh, Reporting System is a program of the CDC and the FDA. This was a system that was established in 1990. I'm reading right from the website. Just go, you can go there on your own, VAERS.HHS.gov, V-A-E-R-S.HHS.gov. Basically, um, the VAERS system accepts information and analyzes reports of adverse events, that's like possible side effects, after a person has received a vaccination, okay? You need to know, though, that anyone can report an adverse event to VAERS. Um, healthcare professionals, doctors, and healthcare folks can do it, but also the general public can as well, okay? Now, you also have to remember that VAERS is a passive reporting system. This is where one of the cruxes of the matter really falls, meaning it relies on people to send in reports of their experiences to the CDC and the FDA. VAERS is not designed to and does not determine um, at that point, rather, if a vaccine actually caused a health problem. And by the way, this is what a lot of people who use the VAR system as an example of, oh, the, see, look at all these reports of injury and illness and problems after the COVID vaccine and deaths. Therefore, it is harmful and, and deadly. Well, no, 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 because VAERS is not designed to determine if a vaccine actually caused a health problem. But it is useful for detecting unusual or unexpected patterns of adverse events reporting that might indicate a possible safety problem with the vaccine. Okay, um, and and then of course you know experts sort of follow up on these. Um, are you kind of getting what I'm saying? Let's just break it down even further. With the VAR system, it's really really important because it allows people to anyone report their experiences. But the key thing here is that that reporting does not establish cause and effect because someone said they had a bad outcome or a bad result or something bad happened surrounding the vaccine doesn't mean the vaccine caused it. And the VAERS system is not saying that the vaccine caused it either. The VAERS system is a reporting system. So let's break down the strengths and the weaknesses or rather limitations of this VAERS system, right? This is actually coming from the CDC. This is all, not, none of this is made up. You can find this information on your own. This is cdc.gov. By the way, the strengths of the VAERS system, VAERS accepts reports from anyone, which is great. That means anyone can report what is going on with their body, what they've experienced in regards to a vaccine. This also allows VAERS to act as an early warning sign to detect any rare or adverse events. That's good. Another strength is VAERS collects information about the vaccine, the person vaccinated, and the event, and then scientists will follow up on serious reports. That's awesome. Um, and the other thing is that all data is publicly available. Now, let's go to the limitations. And these limitations is really what's playing a role when people are using this data, they're misconstruing it, and they're drawing inappropriate conclusions about it, saying, aha, people said they, they did badly after the vaccine. Aha, therefore the vaccine must be bad. No, that's not how it works. It's not that simple. First limitation is that VAERS is a passive reporting system, meaning that reports about adverse events are not automatically co collected. Instead, someone who had or is aware of an adverse event following vaccination must file a report, okay? Number two, VAERS reports are submitted by anyone. Uh, and sometimes these reports actually lack details or contain errors. Number three, and this is the big one, VAERS data alone cannot determine if the vaccine caused the reported adverse event. Let me say it again for those in the back. VAERS data alone cannot determine if the vaccine caused the reported adverse event. 
And, and the CDC goes on to say that this specific limitation has caused a lot of confusion about publicly available data, um, because especially regarding reported deaths, because people go on there and they see, oh, someone died after this vaccine. Therefore, the vaccine caused the death. Oh, this means this vaccine is bad. No, 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 no. That's exactly what this doesn't necessarily mean. And that's why we're talking about this, because people are misappropriating information from VAERS to to promote a, a narrative that the COVID vaccines are bad, okay? In the past, this is according to the CDC, I'm reading verbatim, in the past, there have been instances where people misinterpreted reports of death following vaccination as deaths caused by the vaccine. And that is a mistake. Also remember, VAERS accepts all reports of adverse events following vaccination without judging whether the vaccine caused the adverse health event or not. So just because it's listed on VAERS does not mean that VAERS is saying, yes, we believe it caused this. That's not what it's saying. VAERS does not judge. Things are just submitted. Some reports to VAERS might represent true vaccine reactions and others might be coincidental adverse health events that are not related to vaccination at all. And generally, a causal relationship cannot be established using information from VAERS reports alone. What does that mean? That means that reading a report from VAERS um, and saying, ooh, someone died after getting this vaccine, therefore the vaccine caused this death, that's called a causal relationship that cannot be established uh, generally using information from VAERS. So those people who are citing the VAERS system as legitimate um, definitive proof that the vaccine causes these problems, these side effects, these, this, that, and the other, that is not appropriate because that system is not designed to determine that. And furthermore, as I've said, listing that something happened, occurred around the time of that vaccine doesn't mean the vaccine actually had anything to do with that. Whew. Got myself worked up. Okay. In addition, the number of reports submitted to VAERS may increase in response to media attention or increase public awareness, and it is not possible to use VAERS data to calculate how often an adverse event occurs in a population. Guys, there is a lot of information um, about VAERS. I need us to be informed consumers. And for those of you who listen or have heard other people say, well, the vaccine adverse events reporting system says that blah, blah, blah. Now you know to take that information with a grain of salt because the VAERS system does not determine causal effect, causation. It's just simply a reporting system, a passive one at that, where anyone can report information and the information may not be complete or entirely correct. Remember, the VAERS system does not judge this information. It does use it as a, as a platform to uh, go off of and to investigate things that need to be investigated. And it's a very important system. But do not let your friends, your family, your coworkers, politicians, et cetera, use the system as a way to promote a narrative that COVID vaccines are deadly, that they are dangerous, that they are bad, because that is an inappropriate use of this system and it is false. It's not even accurate. There's so much more I could say, but I want you to take a look for yourself. Bears.hhs.gov. Take a look, read it, show it to your friends and family. Show them this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I know you've read the comments on my other videos. I had to, it took me, I probably should have done this video a long time ago, but I had to address this. So let me know what you think. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. If you've not subscribed to my channel or click the little bell for updates, please do. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And guys, I'll see you soon.